Are you an artist who has no idea how to use black in your painting? Maybe you were taught that you should never use black in your painting, that you should only mix your blacks. Maybe you weren't taught anything about how to use black in a painting. Today I want to discuss with you two different ways to use black in your painting. One is called chromatic black and the other is called pigmented black. So this painting that I'm standing in front of is a work in progress. I've been working on this using oils. And for this painting, I did not use any black paint. All the dark values that you see, all the grays, all the neutral tones were mixed using pigments that were not black. So this is a method referred to as chromatic black. It's a technique that the Impressionist painters came up with because they claimed that there was no true black in nature and therefore artists shouldn't use black to convey nature. Um, so they used different colors, browns, blues, reds, to get dark values in their paintings. One of the benefits to using a chromatic black is that you can keep the vibrancy of your paintings you don't get um, black pigment sullying down your color, so you can keep the nice bright saturation of your paintings. This is a technique that I use a lot in my work, so I really enjoy it. But the other process is when you use actual black paint on your palette. So there's paint like ivory black or carbon black that you can use. Mars black is another popular one. And the challenges that you face when you use black are slightly different. Like I said earlier, if you don't clean your brushes well when you're mixing with black, it's going to get into everything and really muck up your paintings. Um, sometimes people will use it as a default to just darken their colors. They want a darker red, so they add black to it and then maybe they add white, and then they just have a gray. So it can really gray down a painting. But there are times when pigmented black is really useful to use, and there's a lot of artists that have used pigmented black and made amazing, stunning paintings. I definitely think that both approaches to mixing black are really important for an artist to know. If you've never worked with black out of the tube, I encourage you to try it. And if you've never mixed your own black, I encourage you to try that. I also encourage you to look at the value in your painting, the lightness and the darkness in your painting, and consider that when you're working. Do you have enough highlights? Do you have enough shadows? A lot of people are really afraid of painting with dark values. Sometimes those dark values are really important in creating interest in your painting. So don't be afraid of mixing black, dark values. It's a really useful tool to have. 